Okay guys, uh, good morning and welcome to another video. This is I think video 3, lesson 3. So today we are going to look at the launch screen as opposed to the main storyboard screen. So the launch screen in Xcode is a screen that comes up uh, for a split second before the main app launches. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight into it and show you how it works. So I'm going to go into Xcode, create a new Xcode project, single view app, next. I'm just going to call it launch screen example. Create. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is just to show you this is my launch screen. And I'm going to put a label on this so we can see that it's the launch screen. So I'm going to go to my library, put a label, and put it near the top. I'm going to make this font a lot bigger. I'm just going to put it in the center in the middle. It's fine like that. I'm not too worried. We'll call this launch screen. And I'll center it a bit better than that. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just put it on two lines. It doesn't let you do that, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. So there's my launch screen. Then I want to go to the main storyboard. As you can see, it's different. And once again, I'm going to drag a label. Uh, the size I had the last time, I'm going to stick to the same size. If you look here. I had size 60, so on my main storyboard, click on label, size 60. I guess not let me do it that way, we just go up to size 60. There. And we call this, uh, select the, it's the first screen you see in the app. So they call it over here the main storyboard, okay? So we'll stick with that. We'll bring that in there, main storyboard. And that fits quite snugly. So we, I also generally want to give these a background color. So background color for, I'm gonna give it orange for the main storyboard and then for the launch storyboard, I'm going to give it the same color. They generally have the same color because they work together. And on this one, I'm just going to put a little image. Uh, you usually find them with a little image. So I'm going to go here and go image, view, and drag out an image. Bring it down here. That's fine. Now I need to upload something to the assets. I need to upload my file, so I'm going to drag and drop. So the file I'm going to use is this one that I, I just like this one. I'm going to drag it into the assets. So it's a simple little kind of click on me. So then I can go back to this. I'll go to the launch screen. I'll go to the image. Okay, now we have an image in it. So launch screen, main storyboard. Okay, so now I'm going to build the app. Now the first time you build it, you'll notice that it takes it a couple of seconds to go from the launch screen. I go to the app, the app is here. You'll see it takes about five seconds. It changes but it does take a couple of seconds to go from the launch screen to the main so 
So there's our launch screen. And we'll just wait. Still waiting. Hey, and then it moves. So that was the first time we ran it. Now let's run it again. Let's say we make some change. We're not we're going to leave that the way it is. And then on the main storyboard, you make some changes. You might add in some buttons, etc. I'm just going to add in a button. Actually, I'm not going to. I'll add in a button. Go to the main storyboard. Okay, and we just make that bigger. We're not going to push anything on it. We're just going to show you that we can add stuff. We'll leave that like that. And once again, we'll run this app. And this time you'll see it will build a lot quicker. And it'll move from the launch screen to the main storyboard a lot quicker. Okay, why do we have a launch screen? It's a good question. So here are some reasons. Oh, sorry. So first of all, a few things you need to know about the splash screen, or it's called the launch screen. There's no coding on it. We won't have any swift coding on it. It's just what you see. It's intended to make your app look cool. It generally delays the loading of your app because your app might take two seconds to load. They will launch the launch screen immediately and then uh, you look at it and there might be a funny little man doing a little dance on it for a second and that way it makes it look like the app has actually loaded but it hasn't. It's a separate page and it does really nothing. So as I said here, your app has not started yet when the launch screen goes up. Uh, you can you can use the UI controls. Just, you can. It's designed to closely match your first screen as I have already done, and it shouldn't have any text. But we will talk about these later. But the main thing for you to understand about the splash screen is that it's intended to enhance the perception that you're app is fast and responsive and it's not it's actually showing a tiny screen with nothing on it basically for a split second to make it look like your app is faster okay thank you very much guys and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson